Hello guys, this is Code in Code and this is the third lecture of this stars and bars uh, technique and in this lecture we are going to solve this problem marbles taken from sponge. So first of all, uh, let's recap the stars and bars technique. So it is a combinatorial technique which helps us to count uh, or to solve certain uh, specific types of combinatorial problem. One of the problems that we discussed was this. You are given an equation like a1 plus a2 plus a3 dash 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 a k is equals to n. That is, there are k different variables as the sum of all these is equals to n and all the variables are can assume values only non-negative integer. So each variable is greater than equal to 0. And sum of all the variables is equals to n. So how many solution of this equation exist? So we can count the solution of this equation using stars and bars where stars are equal to n and bars that is uh, equal to k minus 1 where k are the number of variables. So the total number of integer non-negative solution of this equation was total boxes that, that is n plus k minus 1 comma uh, k minus 1 k minus 1 because we need to place k minus 1 bars among the total number of boxes or we can place n stars among n plus k minus 1 boxes so this was the solution of the equation which is of this form now this was the recap of what we had studied about stars and bars and if you have no idea just go and watch the previous two lectures of this series so the question is so the solution that you get here is non-negative it's not exactly positive but is non-negative that is the variables can assume value zero but the problem that we are going to solve marbles let me show you uh, this this problem if you see this is the problem that we are going to target in this lecture so the problem is uh, there is a person Han Shin and I don't exactly know the pronunciation of this so he is allowed to take n marbles and there are k different kinds of colors of marbles and each color uh, there are infinite numbers of marbles of each color so he have to choose n marbles such that the collection of his with n marbles contains at least one marble of each color so how many tot uh, how many total possibilities or different configurations are there that he can choose so he have to choose n marbles and there are k different colors of marbles available so in n marbles there have to be at least one marble of each color so how many different ways he can choose n marble collection so there are t test cases in each uh, test case there are two inputs n and k and then uh, the number of marbles in that guy's collection and k the different kinds of colors so in each test case we have to print uh, the number of different configuration or different uh, collection that he can have so to, to solve this problem we basically have k variables that is a1 plus a2 plus a3 dash 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 ak and each variable must be greater than equal to 1 because from each color we have to choose at least one marble so the sum of all k variable must be equal to n so let's get back to our lecture so we are given k variables so that the sum is equals to n but this time instead of all the variables assuming values is starting from zero we have to uh, take variables which start from one now so we have to modify this solution somehow the stars and bar we are going to using uh, we are of course you are going to use stars and bar but we have to somehow modify it so that the solution contains uh, the variables taking values from 1 so 
if you remember to solve this problem what we did we took five stars because n was five now to divide it the stars among two variables we used a divider which was or which were bars so now a single bar divides the whole stars into two uh, two parts or two regions the left and the right region the left region belongs to x and the right region belongs to y the left region contains two and the right region contains three stars so the solution is two plus three that is five so th this was how we solved that problem but now to solve this uh, this problem we have to take values uh, in previously the bar can move anywhere starting from the leftmost position that is leftmost to the left star to the rightmost position so if we place the bar to the right it would correspond to solution 0 5 but now 0 5 is not a valid solution how we can figure uh, how we can stop uh, getting that solution is that we simply have to uh, avoid the bar to go completely towards the left or completely towards the right if the bar goes completely towards the right then, then the solution would be 5 0 which again now y uh, assumes a value 0 which is invalid so now all we have to do is stop the bar going from these two position that is how we can stop getting values 0 but now there is one more case where variables get the value 0 suppose there are three variables then we would have two different bars so that we can divide the whole region into three regions if you have three bars suppose one is here and one is here then we have in total three regions one towards the left of the first bar second region in between the first and the second bar and third region towards the right of the second bar now if we stop these two bars going towards completely left or towards completely right then one configuration of getting zero is stopped but there is another way a variable can get zero or a region can have zero star and that is when two bars are placed next to each other that is if i place two bars uh, one here and then another one here then we see uh, towards the left there are two uh, two stars and in between the first and the second bar there are zero stars while on the right of the second bar there are three stars so this would correspond to the solution of two zero three if we have three variables which would be invalid in the in this case because we cannot accept a solution where a variable is having a value zero to stop that this we have to make sure that no two bars are next to each other in any configuration so we have two restrictions first no bar should be completely towards left or completely towards right second uh, restriction no two bars should be uh, next to each other so if you keep these two things in mind then what are the places where you can fill these bars the places that you get where you can fill these bars and all the regions have at least one star are these the places in between stars so now we have only four place one two three and four each place is between a uh, two consecutive stars so since there are five stars we have four different places if we place suppose we have three variables then we would have two different bars now if we place a bar uh, in any place then the second bar cannot be placed here because this place is already filled so we are left with three different places one here one here and one here so this way if we assume the number of boxes as one two three four the places between the stars if we start placing the rods or the bars between the stars then no two bars would be 
side by side to each other or consecutive to each other one star if you fill here then other place which is left to be filled are only these three places so if you fill another bar that would occupy one of these three places and hence even if you place the bar nearest to the first bar then the region would contain at least one star so now if you are having n number of stars then you are having n minus one number of places to be filled and if you are having k number of variables then you know you are having k minus one number of bars so the solution for this would be four because there are only four places left and you have to choose one place to fill a bar so the solution would be 4c1 which is 4 factorial divided by 1 factorial multiplied by 3 factorial which is 4 and hence there are four solutions so the general solution of this would be there are n stars and k minus 1 bars so the general solution would be n minus 1 because there would be n minus 1 places in between the stars and out of those n minus 1 places you have to fill or uh, you have to choose k minus 1 places to fill the bars and hence the solution of this equation where each variable gets at least one bar sorry gets at least one star or each variable have value greater than equal to 1 is equals to n n c1 uh, n minus 1 c k minus 1 where c is a binomial coefficient you know it from common rhetoric. so the solution of this problem would be simply in each test case n minus 1 c k minus 1 so if i show you the solution that i have submitted so i'm going to show you the solution so i'm assuming that you want to see because this is a spoiler warning so this is my solution so in each in each test case i am reading n n k and then printing the binomial coefficient n minus 1 comma k minus 1 and here i am directly calculating uh, the binomial coefficient which you can calculate in linear time linear in k so the complexity of uh, calculating binomial coefficient using this method is big o of k because the loop is running from 1 to k now you can learn how to calculate binomial coefficient there are plenty of sites which tell like gfg geeks for geeks so you can study how to cal calculate binomial coefficient in linear time using constant uh, space or linear space so this is how you solve this problem this was very easy if you know uh, if you know about uh, stars and bars and if if you do not know about this then this problem would seem a little bit difficult so now the challenge or uh, the challenge sorry the challenge for you is to solve the next problem that i have shown in the first lecture in the first lecture i had talked about two different problems one was this the marbles problem that we have seen how to solve and the second one was uh, a problem taken from code forces so the check challenge for you is to try and solve that problem till the next video drops and till then thank you guys for watching and yeah keep coding thank you